Hey, welcome to Porkfest. This beautiful chaos of people that love liberty coming from all over the country to camp in northern New Hampshire to gather, to share stories, to share strategies. People are actually migrating to New Hampshire to be part of this community. And it kind of reminds me of the parking lot at a Grateful Dead concert, because in one sense, everybody's different. Everybody wants to do something different, but somehow they come together as a community and do something together that is big and beautiful based on peaceful cooperation. We're trying to build this libertarian mecca, right? It's this little planet, this little free planet that can prove it is possible so that we can say to the naysayers, you have it wrong. Yeah. Of course a consent-based society can work. What I find special about Porkfest is just people coming together to do things, not because they have to, but because it actually means something to them to have these conversations and build these companies and build these movements without any other thing driving it than their passion and their excitement for what they do and what they love. So you're going to see almost everything here. There's lots of vendors, people are making food, they're making cocktails. It's possible that there's some marijuana sales. I don't want to say that there isn't. Lots of children, so there's generations of libertarians being, being born in this state and everything peaceful. There's 90 hubs. We have uh, uh, 500 events on the schedule and another 200 that are not on the schedule. We have uh, 2,500, uh, uh, over 2,500 attendees. It's just, it's a wonderful feeling to be around so many wonderful like-minded people and even different-minded people and just being able to get along and try to understand how we can make this world a better place. And that's been great, seeing the energy, uh, seeing all the people who are coming together and love all the same things we do, even if they're coming from different parts of the country or living their life in uh, different ways. So this is a truly special place. The sessions are, are fantastic. I was so excited by the lineup, and then I had my, all, my whole day planned out hour by hour, and I ended up spending most of my day at the campsite simply because people kept stopping and wanting to talk about stuff that they cared about. Uh, we ended up recording shows and, and having amazing conversations, so uh, whether it's the main stage or the campground, I really have nothing to complain about. So uh, the comedy show at 6 was absolutely fantastic. Dave Smith, uh, like I said, Robbie Fire, they're both hilarious. You know, you see Libertarian Twitter, and then you come to like an event like this and it's like, man, it's just so different. Like everybody's cool, which to me is like the most beautiful thing about liberty is that you really do have people from all over the cultural spectrum. I mean, there's like, there, there's like everything from Christians to, you know, people who are like gonna do acid in the woods. It's, it's a really beautiful thing. Well, I've been able to see uh, Matt talk many times Matt Kibbe about his experiences and just his passions and it's amazing to have the Free the People folks here talking about how to tell good stories about liberty. It's one of the things we're so terrible at is convincing people in their hearts and minds. Uh, hearts oftentimes falls to the back burner and seeing Matt's success, seeing Free the People's success is just incredibly powerful and hopefully it's a lesson that everyone at Pork Fest can take and build something with and hopefully do a better job messing, messaging liberty uh, for years to come. You guys need to understand what this is because it is everything about freedom and liberty and the principles of libertarianism put in practice. 